The Love of God 1 John 3, 1 Behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore the world does not know us, because it knew Him not. 1 John 3, verses 1 through 3 focus on the love of God and how His love resulted in believers becoming children of God. Being children of God is a great sign of love from God the Father. This is a result of the words of John in John 1.12, which says, But to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. John highlighted this idea that God would love us enough to make us his children, and it is just an amazing aspect of the gospel. The most exciting thing is that not only is God willing to call us His children, but we actually are His children and joint heirs with Christ Jesus. This is as good as it gets. The Bible says that God is love in 1 John 4, 8. Our human minds cannot comprehend God. We cannot even define Him. We cannot provide a comprehensive account of who He is. The Bible says he dwells in an unapproachable light. Now, if God is incomprehensible, then so is his love for us. We can never fathom the depth of his love because it is divine love. And it is different from our love, just as his being is different from our being. Love is an attribute of God. It is a core aspect of God's character and his person. Everything that God does is loving. He is the perfect example of true love. God's love is not in conflict with His holiness, righteousness, and His justice. All of His attributes are in harmony. Everything that God has ever done has been done out of love. He is love. There are so many kinds of love, but the love of God is divine. Jeremiah 31 3 says, God has appeared to us in the saying, I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have drawn you with unfailing kindness. God spoke through the prophet Jeremiah saying that the kind of love that I have for you is not temporal. It's a permanent kind of love. We throw around the word love pretty freely. We use it casually when we talk about everyday things that we like a lot. We say, I love this and I love that. More seriously, we talk about our love for other people, our children, our spouses, and friends, to name a few. But sadly, life teaches us that some of these types of love are not permanent. The car that I love so much might break down. The job that I love, I might lose. Or much more seriously, the friend that I love like a brother or sister, we may fall out or disappoint each other. But divine love is of another order. God will never disappoint you. God will never disappear from your life. Even if you decide to walk away from him, he still keeps his arms wide open, waiting for you to come back to your senses like the prodigal son. And should you decide to come back home, God will still love you with the same love as before, as if you never went away. Our Lord Jesus did not sacrifice him on the cross only to stop loving and caring for us after his resurrection. Lamentations 3 verse 22 says, The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. The love of God for us can be best described as that unique love which a woman shares with her unborn child in the womb, connected with the umbilical cord. The connection is unbreakable. It's the same with the love of God. It never ceases. It's an unbreakable love that He expresses in deeds of mercy, which are new for us every morning. Only in this love of God can we find hope in hopelessness, the promises of joy and sorrow, Whatever situation we may be, however dark the night, 
however deep in trouble you may be, however hopeless your situation may seem to be, as a child of God, you can rely on the steadfast love of God and give yourself over to the one who is the only source of your hope. 1 John chapter 4, verses 9 and 10 says, In this was manifested the love of God toward us, because God sent His only begotten Son into the world that we might live through Him. Herein is love, not that we loved God, but that He loved us and sent His Son to be the propitiation for our sins. God's love for us is not hidden. It is revealed in the sacrifice of His Son Jesus, which is the ultimate proof that God truly loved us. Love is something that God showed us first by sending Jesus Christ to buy our pardon. Our love for Him is ultimately rooted in His original love for us. God's love reminds us that true love is not just in words, but it involves action. And true love flows from Him. Love originated with God the Father. We did not love Him, but God commanded His love toward us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us according to Romans 5, 8. It was our sin, our suffering, and our great need that drew His compassion and His love for us. He could have destroyed us, but He had pity on you and me. God is a fountain of love and it flows from His nature. You don't have to work for God's affection. You don't have to set yourself straight before God can pour His love over your life. God absolutely loves you. Sometimes it's hard to get our minds around it, but this is the truth. This is where the faith journey starts, understanding that God loves you. If you do not have the assurance of God's love, your journey of faith will not last long because the love of God will help your faith. There is no force more powerful than the love our Heavenly Father has for us, His children. The love of God is so powerful, it can move mountains. It can stop the roaring seas. It can heal broken bones and mend wounded hearts. The love of God is so powerful that it can also transform lives and it can set free those held captive by sin and shame. As a child of God, receive the depth of God's love for you today in the name of Jesus Christ. Allow the love of God to heal your heart and your life. Let the love of God wipe your spiritual tears and bandage your spiritual wounds. Allow the love of God to set you free and lead you to the abundant life He has always longed to give you. Read and meditate upon the Word of God. Pray over your life the scriptures about God's love as you journey through life and watch the love of God permeate your heart. Romans 8, 38 and 39 says, For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. You are loved by God always, no matter what. The Apostle Paul listed all the powers, every realm and every category which anyone could imagine that could loosen God's love commitment or his ability to love those who are in Christ Jesus. Not even the present or the future will be able to separate you and me from the love of God. Hard situations may come, but none of them will stop God from loving you. Brothers and sisters, your salvation and my salvation are entirely and absolutely secure on account of his great love for us. God bless you.